hello guys welcome back to the channel today we will try to cover uh, more on shapes and buttons okay so let's start so I will uh, continue from my last video and here we will create a duplicate okay of the same page let's say page 2 here and uh, we'll first remove the chart okay remove the slicer here and remove this buttons okay so I will make this base ready for me okay and uh, image is straightforward you will track image here okay and uh, you can select image like this okay. and uh, you can do a lot of things on image as well you can see you can add a title you can do some scaling like you want to make it fit or fill or normal okay, based on that it will extract throughout the image and uh, uh, if you want to go and change the background that is also you can do and there is a border so I prefer borders with white background okay so it will be look like this you can see right so that way you can manage your images for your logo that's what I did here let's disable the shadow so it's now full and also I don't want for example I don't want borders I will remove so now it's fitted to the background so it's look very decent okay so now let's go to the shape here first and add a rectangle so the, the way I want to design is like uh, I try to make uh, three sections here first one is my header then my content part and down one is like my footer and now I want certain colors here so I can select my background fill and line so I don't want line here but I can take the color so this is the line color okay so just keep it for a while go and select the color right so this is what we have and background so I will go and apply the same one now see this one so background is different than feel okay because feel is something uh, we'll see on buttons like how it is different okay so if I remove feel here so this is how it look okay and uh, let's add a border so I'm adding border with the same color okay so this is how it's look now now <clears throat> now I want to sorry I will go and add some buttons here now okay. and for this buttons let's have some border and uh, background color
yeah we'll go with something like this here for now and I don't want uh, outline so you can see this outline is gone now and I want to make this button a little bigger okay and now you can see here the feel how it is differs so feel is having status over on price and disabled so on over I can add something and that is going to change you can see this way and then I have order that is something like this and I guess there is a icon I don't need icon here I just need a text something so see let's go back to the first page violent so we'll add for example violent mm -hmm. so now create another button now if I want on top this background or if I apply this background here for example okay so, so it's mixed now I will create another one here and say background it will change similar way changed okay and then this should be on top of this right and little more open or you can have little bigger this button should be a little bigger and this should be let's see property let's change the text here right say property okay so our buttons are ready so we have total four buttons and we want to make a effect like how they are changing right so now what to do is like uh, first of all we need to go to view and check bookmarks and check selection and this uh, panel we have that we want to bring forward so this is how it looks now uh, I want to create a bookmark okay and that is for violent okay. so this is our version for violent okay I have older one also for that uh, page one so in that uh, I haven't means I didn't uh, show you how actually I did but in this uh, I am showing you step by step how to create the same thing yeah. it may be little bit different but almost same okay so now 
violent bookmark is created now the bookmark the way it is work like uh, if you go here so your bookmark is created first of all and you can see what things you can take with your bookmark okay so here I don't want data as of now so I'm just disabling the data part okay and I have created this for violent so in that what things I need I don't want this button to be visible only this should be there so once you select you can see it's how it's look okay and this one okay so I just want to keep these two so this how it looks like okay so and if I need something uh, like some chart or something here so I can add let's add one chart here okay and uh, for example it's for violent so this is your data this are your right and even you can add states so this is how it, it, on top you can see the legions as the states and these are the different incidents okay so <clears throat> Let's keep it simple for a while. So it is for entire US region, okay? And then, so this one become your uh, violent murder by year, okay? This is a criminal data. Now next one, let's save it first, okay? And the more importantly, so this, once you save, and you can see here what page is there. So this become your default load page load okay so whenever you publish it will comes first page as a page two okay so just remember whatever you save that will become your default now in this case this is fine but we want uh, we want this uh, bookmark to be saved so that's why we just save the bookmark this way update bookmark so now this thing is updated okay and if I add next one okay uh, so let's rename it and say property underscore one okay now what I want for property so that I need to do so in that case this should be disabled and enabled, disabled, enabled. This is how I want, right? And then this I need to disable. And I I will add one more chart, saddle line chart for differentiation. Hmm. So we'll add a year and we add some property data burglary okay and this for the whole year so this is done so let's save it then let's update this one and if you switch back you can see violet property violet property Okay, and uh, now these were just created bookmarks, but we need to update. Okay, so when there is a violent action, should be there. So action will be your bookmark here. There are multiple options. You can see drill through page navigation, QA web. So you can add a web URL also to your button you can uh, go to QA you can go to page navigation like uh, to page 1 page 2 page 3 something or drill through possible and bookmark so for now I'm doing bookmark so I will select my bookmark 
for this also I need bookmark You don't need to save particularly bookmarks for this. This is your object is is related to your components, these visuals. So in this case, again you have to do because these are different buttons. Property and violent click. That's it. Publish, save, and see control S. Now let's save it and see how it looks. So in this, uh, we have added these two buttons and uh, one image and some graph. And in the tab effect we have created, let's publish. replace because I have previously published a report and uh, let me open the report here I will show you how to open this thing into a plain embedded page so this is not a pro version or something so you you have only one option called publish to web so your data is public now so I just copy this URL go to my tab and this is how it will be look like So you can see what is the default page it's loaded is page number two here it shows right and now we see how these tabs are working okay this property property and okay so we have one issue here tabs are working but we have violent graph there but property is overlapped so let's move back let's go back and when there is a valent we need to hide and update valent now check property 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 valent 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 save and publish replace now this publishing to cloud and we will go and check our report so for that simply we will uh, go to cloud here we need to remove the order because it's, it's not going to reflect so that's what I have experienced so far so I will remove this update report and now I will republish let's publish it okay now let's check it property oops yeah it's working this is how you can use uh, tabs buttons and your bookmarks okay so this is the first part of this video that we cover uh, image then uh, buttons let's pick some different few web URL and uh, we'll try to make something out of it okay so 
set of psalms running now. Okay. So let's go back to our report here. And see if you want to create the same template, you can just create a duplicate page. Okay. I would like to that because I will create a duplicate and just remove this one and I will say page 3 okay and let's do something else on this page so for example let's check our data first so we can get an idea what else we can add right so this time we will try to try to <clears throat> we have additional dimension state okay so let's do something uh, this call it states so in this page, we will try to show a page, uh, sorry, state-wise data. So for that, let's do something here. See, so this page components are different. These are shared. Remember, this one is shared. But now, whatever we have, this page is totally different, state page and these visuals are different okay so they are not uh, visuals from page 2 they are the objects of page state okay so don't get confused there so now here we'll uh, try to add one state Slicer first. I will say slicer here. I would like to prefer as of now a drop down. I want to add it on my visual itself. So it can bind my, you know, it can bind my whole UI. Mm -hmm. So this one, so let's, uh, let's make this round here first, the border. then let's do some changes due to I try to add some states here in legends. Okay, and now if you see here, so that we have a states. Okay, so now user have ability to select states, and here I will say I don't want to see states on top, but legion should be on bottom. Okay. let's see how it's looking bottom okay and my state part is on top so okay, 
this is fine this is enough there are some few more landing okay and now when I select any one let's see how it works see and I can clear it so by default you will get all and then if you want to have multi selection you can go to selection control select single multi select with control is there right now so I don't want to do that with control so I will say select all should show select all plus it should allow me to check so there should be a checkbox now this way so three three let's keep it simple so it's like a stacked area chart instead of let's keep a line so I will have a three lines now oh sorry we need to select chart and then select line, line. so okay we convert it to line and we want to keep our this uh, filter on top so let's select it and go to our format and bring it forward so it's on top now let's say control s now <clears throat> for example i want to jump from page 2 to states definitely you can do it here to here by but if you want to do from this page let's say you want to do this from this page and uh, for that you are going to add sun button here and say state analysis or something whatever you want to say okay let's add it here This is how it will be. And just we, we will add it uh, some text here. For example, something like that. You have mentioned just for example. Okay, and now what you want to do you want to go to the action here and you will select uh, page navigation and from here you will say states simple say control s so this is your default page because we have saved it here and then we will control click so it should go to page states yeah it's came here and then there is a selection okay and I will say two and should filter the whole data with these two last kind of so this is how you can uh, make a effect selection effect and you have capability to filter your legions okay so this is a single table and so it's a very simple data model okay single table so it's the simplest form of data model so you can easily do this but if you have multiple tables then there should be a tweak might be possible you need to do some work around okay in that case you you need to manage relationships right so that you have to take care but this is the simplest way you can do your work <clears throat> to make your visuals very simple and uh, smart enough to have you know to make uh, visuals clear clutter free okay
so let's uh, it is already saved so I will make it uh, this one as a for example I will make this as a home let's say home okay and then I don't want to show this for that I will simply right click and say hide page so now only two page I have I'll say control s this will become my default page and then let's uh, apply this uh, uh, format okay so it will be uh, easy saved let's publish okay this time we will try to check whether it's automatically updating or not I was thinking that the report should be automatically updated but uh, so far in this new version I'm not able to do that one so let's go here basically these are our web link okay and uh, this is what we have updated that link is this let's see here okay <clears throat> so we have home and states okay this is updated sure now let's simple refresh let's see what happens simple refresh showing two page but not what I want okay it's not updated let's do control f5 still no let's go to page one no so I need to do more research on this why this links are not auto refreshed something is problem here okay so basically these are current data but it's not updated and that's the problem so guys write down the comment if you have something new findings I'll try to republish and see what happens so it's me but you can see still the older one right it's not a new it's, it's still showing the older one something is wrong here publish it's showing home here but <clears throat> trying home states home no there is something wrong okay let's uh, go to settings manage embedded code let's see is there anything here With that sort, uh, okay. And I, I will do some research and get back to you guys what's going on there. So we'll remove this one because we are not going to use that anymore. So go to home and uh, workspace. Where's my workspace? So oh, we'll uh, republish this one because I have removed the Ambrot published code. Then only this is going to be taking effect. Okay, it's taking too long. Okay, now this is fine and we will go to share here yeah. publish create so copy
this one is showing now so i think code is changed so not a problem it should work fine okay and this one probably valid is working fine and now go to state wise analysis so it's jump to page two and by default we have selected all and go to alpama ohio illinois why georgia florida kansas montana new york this is working fine so this is how we can make more interactive dashboards so in this video we have covered uh, about little bit about image a uh, little bit about uh, our buttons and their different properties then we have one slicer here to make an effect like slicer is a part of this graph you know this line chart so you can see the it's look like like this graph this uh, line chart is having this slicer that's how we are trying to do and it's make more easy to you know connect the visuals definitely you can have this slicer on top and that can be synced across the all things if it is required or you can have a single slicer for single chart so that will work with that chart only okay so thank you guys write down your comments okay your questions if you have any difficulty in power bi designing or any tags or something please write down in the comment section uh, thank you like share and subscribe to the channel have a nice day bye